What is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to more Need for Speed Payback car customization gameplay. Now I promised you guys more customization and here it is. Well first of all, what I wanted to show you uh, right first off when we're looking at the Beetle is we've got these super builds here which are Drift, we've got a drag one, we've got a- dude we've got so many of these freaking things. We've got- the off-road one is absolutely insane. The off-road one just gives you crazy suspension travel, crazy everything. Um, but there's so many different versions of this car. And look at the front camera with the drift version. It's so freaking ridiculous. It's so... Uh, dude, it's it's absolutely insane. But going through the customization with the Beetle, you also have the, like different lights. You've got roof lights. You, know, you can do light bars. You can do spotlights. You can do whatever you want. Um, I decided to go with a vented version of the stock hood. Um, but again, you have these customizable headlights. You can do like, different lens colors and stuff like that. I decided to go with those, like, kind of... They're almost... If you've ever seen those, like, dragon or chameleon uh, lens things, they look kind of like that. Originally, I was going to keep it without the front fenders, but you'll see later on that I decided to put the front fenders back on because I was like, it looked weird with a splitter, but without fenders, if that makes any sense. I'll kind of like, I, I know I spoiled the build a little bit there, but you'll, you'll understand why when you see it a little bit later on. Um, but I, overall impressions of Need for Speed Payback so far, I mean, I'm really having a lot of fun with it. I'm really, really having a lot of fun playing the game, uh, customizing cars, and just, look at that, it's like a little mini wing on the other wing. It's, it, it's weird, but it's cool. Um, I think one of my biggest, uh, things that I'm, that I'm actually liking about the game so far is that they've, they've, they, it seems like they've been bringing back things that people liked about, uh, the last game, but they've also been bringing in new things that people have asked for. So, there's this really nice, there's like, oh, hey, we listened to all of this stuff, you know? We listened to all of this stuff, we, like, they, they took the feedback properly, and this is like the back end of a Porsche 911. I mean, really, a Porsche 911 is a glorified Beetle anyway, so... <laughs> but regardless, I mean, I think the another one of the main things that I, that I really, really have been enjoying with, with this game and this customization so far is, I don't know why, first of all, I don't know why I hovered over the wheel for that long, it was a little odd, but, um, you guys will see in a second, these weld wheels are crazy, they just look so good, I, I've been, I don't know, I've just been wanting to put them on many, many, many things, and stuff, and things, and other stuff, and things, um, but, uh, but regardless, there's so much stuff to do here, and it's one of those things where you could spend, like, you could spend hours in here. You really, really could. I mean, you've got that Toyo R888 tire right there that just, like, you've got the tread pattern. You've got, And I kind of was like, I wanted the tread pattern, but I had to go stretched in order to get it. So I was like, you know what? I'll just go stretched and get the tread pattern. I, I didn't want to go stretched, but I wanted the 888 tread pattern, so I got the 888 tread pattern. Um, but you can actually, and again, with being able to have different wheels front and rear, different wheel sizes, it makes it really nice because... You can have, if you, it's like, if you want to have those really beefy, um, fat drag tires in the back, you can. If you want to have the little, eh, little mini wheels and tires up front, you can do that as well. But also, if you say, for example, it's an older car with drum brakes, you can swap those out for disc brakes, like pads and, or, well, rotors, pads, and calipers. You can swap those over to rotors. You can actually, <laughs> it's funny, when you swap it over to the rotor, it doesn't really have a caliper until you put one on. But, uh, but again, yeah, you could be Fast and Furious spec. But, uh, regardless, really, really fun to, to customize. I love those side steps, dude. Like, I know they're, like, technically a side skirt, but, like, they, they look more like an off-road side step. But this car kind of ended up being a cool combination between, like, a drag rear with the race wing on the back. It's got the off-road light bar, and then it's got, like, a race splitter, but then the vents at the front. It's kind of like a culmination of all these different things, but I hope you guys did enjoy this customization, uh, and this build, if you did, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comments below what y'all thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, I'll see you guys next time, talk to you guys later.